Hello everyone, today we're going to be taking a quick look at this portable monitor from KBKUE Kobuki. I'm not sure how you would say it. Uh, this is a 15.6 inches full HD 1080p USB C monitor. We have a USB C port, we actually have two, only one of them is full function, and we have a mini HDMI port and another USB C port that's only for power. So let's start with opening this plastic wrapping around it. So here we have the box. We have some specs and dimensions in the back of the box. And I quite like this color, the kind of navy blue. It looks very sleek and I haven't seen any portable monitors with this color before. Right out of the box, we get this user manual. It seems very thorough and detailed. Very well organized. And here we have this protective layer. And this is a portable monitor. But first we have this charging brick. This is a USB-A charging brick. And then here we have the portable monitor itself, nicely wrapped, and it comes with the stand and the case, which is also a stand. Here it says the brand, KB, KUE, and here we have one of the cables. Let's see which one this is. This is the USB-C to the mini HDMI cable or port in this monitor. Let's open it up and see how long it is. It looks longer than average, which is nice. Yeah, that's quite long. So if your computer or your laptop is a little further away, you can use this cable. And here we have the USB-C to USB-C cable. You can use this cable. I usually use this cable to it connects both power and data. So you can use this you can use this one cable to connect this monitor to any other device that has USB-C fully functioning. And it's quite long too, so that's nice. And then here we have this USB-A to USB-C cable. If you want to use this, you would mainly use this to power this monitor using this charging brick or powering brick, I guess, that comes in the box. I'm not going to connect it right now because I will be using the USB-C to USB-C port. But basically that's everything we get in the box. Now onto the monitor itself. It looks very nice. The case is shiny but strong enough looks protective. Here we have the mini HDMI and the USB-A cable and one of the speakers as well as the 3.5mm jack. This portable monitor come with two speakers and here we have the powering USB-C and a couple buttons. This is the back and this is the front of that monitor. We have a little piece of paper here that explains how to connect it to different devices Android, iOS, laptop this is very nice and I like that they put it right there you cannot not see it quite helpful how to use the stand and we get this protective plastic layer which I can just peel right away I like the matte finish it's not shiny it's not reflective which is nice it's quite annoying when the display is very reflective. This matte finish is very nice. And I like that you see this metal layer around the frame. This looks very nice actually, because I always have an issue where I have dust falling between the frame and the display in these matte finishes, uh, monitors and laptops. But this one seems to have this kind of metallic finish that prevents anything from going in, which looks really nice. Let's see how you would stand this. 
So this is the way you put it on that stand slash case. And then we have two different levels. This is the first one for this kind of vertical angle. And then we have the other one for the more inclined angle. It's nice that you have these two options and it's nice that the case counts as a stand as well. And you can also take it out of course. And you can use it vertically if you need to. Again we have these ports, the mini HDMI, the USB-C powering port and the USB-C to USB-C data port and powering port at the same time. It looks really nice. I quite like the design and the finish here. The finish is definitely one of the best I've ever seen. Just because of that metallic frame around, the whole monitor feels very premium, very well designed, quite shiny, but the display itself is not reflective. It has this nice matte finish. The frame is metallic. The stand slash case looks shiny and premium. I quite like it. But now let's connect it and see how it performs. Alright, so here I'm connecting this KBKUE portable monitor to my XPS or 9710 from Dell. I'm using it here as an extended screen. I'm going to drag this tab, YouTube tab, into it. And because it has its internal speakers, I can also play some reality free music just to test the speakers. They're not going to be super loud, but they're going to be loud enough for the functionality of this portable monitor just because of the form factor and how slim it is. It's still quite nice that it comes with the built-in speakers. And we also have the, the port to connect uh, the 3.5mm jack if you have an external speaker you'd like to connect. You can control the brightness from here. And as we'll see later, you can also control the volume, which is now on 30% or something. Or 30 or 50%, it's not all, all the way. Alright, so here if we push this button on the side, a long push or a long press, we get to this menu where we can adjust the brightness, contrast, black level, sharpness, and all these different uh, options. All you have to do is to push this side button and then the second button you push it once, the one under it, to get out of the menu and choose the second one and so on. Uh, I like that it comes with all these functionalities. As you can see here, we have these button that also goes up and down this is what you use to navigate through these options and the other button is like an exit the one under it so i put the brightness all the way in we have an image uh, mode where we have standard and game movie yeah if you if you see the monitor the colors just completely change depending on the mode you're in this is really cool and then we have different uh, options including the aspect ratio I'm going to go through these all these options so you get an idea of what you can do with this monitor and what different things what different settings you can change.
So that's it guys, I really like this monitor, it's very thin, very sleek, very modern looking and I like the shiny color but the non-reflective matte finish, the quality is very good, speakers built in as well and I quite like it. Thank you for watching my video, I hope you find this helpful and have a great day.